it's your girl Megan. Alright, so for today's meal prep Sunday, we're just gonna do a different version of a favorite amongst some of us. Um, but this one is just gonna be a lower carb version of sweet and sour chicken. And for Sean, it's some cauliflower in there. It's the cauliflower fried rice. So I know you always talk about, okay, what's up with all the cauliflower? But hey, that's what we like. So that's what we're going to have for this time, this meal. Um, so we're doing, like I said, the low carb version of it. And this is just the sweet and sour sauce. I'm going to go in once this is done because it needs to cool. Then I'll come back with the ingredients for the actual chicken portion of it. And then we'll be good. All right, so let's go over the ingredients real quick for the sweet and sour sauce. So we have your sugar substitute. In this one, we have Swerve. So we have garlic powder and onion powder. And please excuse my nails. Um, we have some salt, some xanthan gum or thickener of your choice, some um, ground ginger, lime juice, fish sauce, and some tomato paste. We have some chicken broth and some coconut vinegar. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this boiling and simmering and then we'll be back. Alright guys, so our pan is warm. So let's go ahead and add in our tomato paste. Coconut vinegar chicken broth your salt garlic powder and onion powder lime juice fish oil or fish sauce sorry and your ginger forgot your sugar Ooh, smoking Alright, so you just stir all this in together and of course I'll end up getting a whisk. But you want to bring this to a boil and allow it to cook for three minutes, stirring occasionally. And then once that's done, you want it to allow it to cool and then you'll sift in or pour in your xanthan gum or your thickener of choice and then just allow it to cool. Um, again, like pretty much everything else is better if you let it sit overnight, but we ain't got time to do that. So just let it sit and cool and then, um, while the chicken is going. So we'll be back once this is to a boil. Alright guys, so our sweet and sour sauce is now come to a boil. So you just want to allow this to cook and cook down for about three to four minutes until it gets the thickness that you want um, and pretty much that's it like I said once it's the three to four minutes has come then you want to add in your xanthan gum after it's cooled for a little while and then it'll thicken up more but so now we're just gonna allow this to cook down like I said and we'll be back once it's time to put in the xanthan gum. Alright guys, so our sweet and sour sauce has finished and it's thickened. Smells delicious, tastes delicious also. So now I'm going to go ahead and sift in the xanthan gum. Fine enough, but yeah, I know. So now you just whisk it all in. And it's thickening up even more. Now you're done with your sauce and you don't need all of it for the chicken I mean of course you can save some of it for like the dipping sauce or whatever um, so yeah we're going to sit this to the side and now work on the actual chicken 
All right, guys. So now let's make the actual chicken nuggets pieces for the sweet and sour chicken. So here I have about five or six um, chicken thighs that I've chopped up into pieces. I have four eggs. I have some um, coconut flour and Parmesan cheese and about a teaspoon of black pepper here. And over here to the side I have about a cup and a half of this cooking coconut cooking oil or you can use just the normal solid coconut oil and then just heat it. Or if you don't care about carbs then you can use whatever vegetables or cooking oil that you prefer. Um, so while this is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and slide that on over. Whisk this together to mix up the pepper. You can also use all Parmesan cheese, but I didn't have enough, so I kind of improvised and added the coconut flour. I didn't add any salt because, of course, Parmesan has salt in it. So you definitely don't want it to be too salty. All right, so now let's make your egg wash. All right, so for those of you that know how to uh, use the egg wash or whatever when you're doing your chicken, Make sure that they're coated. Make sure that they're coated. Just like you're frying normal chicken. and you just lay them in your oil. You wanna have at least an inch of oil in there. You don't need a whole lot, unless you're putting it in like a deep fryer. And definitely don't overcrowd your, your pan, just like normal chicken. And so you're gonna cook them probably like five minutes and then you'll be done. So, be back once that gets done. Alright guys, so our sweet and sour chicken is done. Um, fried up the chicken thighs and here's our sweet and sour sauce again. Um, so at this point, I just need to transfer the chicken to the container. Just like you're doing like hot wings or something. And And if you don't want them all marinated in the sweet and sour sauce, then of course you can leave them as is and just dip them. There you are. So if you need more, you can add a little more. But that way you can enjoy a dish that you would love to eat on your new lifestyle. All done. So, that's it.
gotta taste one now, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they like some hot wings. They do. So good. Of course, they're not gonna taste exactly like, you know, your traditional carry out sweet and sour chicken, but it'll get your fix in for sure. <laughs> but if you guys decide to try it, of course, you know, let us know and tag us in your pictures and stuff on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whichever social media social media site that you follow us on. But go ahead and give us those thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and share this video on all the social media however you see fit. Alright guys, bye. Watching. Please be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, check out our latest video and be sure to subscribe. Bye, Bye guys. guys.